Though Dark Khan was defeated, his consciousness lived on. The Dark Lord's power and maliciousness found the perfect host in the body of the wrathful Scorpion. In the midst of his agony, Scorpion knew that he would soon be the most powerful creature in the universe, if he survived the transformation. Fighting alongside the forces of light during the world merge crisis, Sub-Zero came to a realization. He was no longer the assassin he had been, nor was he comfortable among the self-proclaimed defenders of Earthrealm. Inspired by one of the invaders, Sub-Zero decided he would work for the good of the realm, but on his own terms. He would be a mostly solitary figure, blending in with the dark and the cold. Sub-Zero left the Lin Kuei and donned a new costume befitting this new endeavor. But the Lin Kuei do not tolerate desertion, as he will soon discover. After his encounter with the invaders and their magical powers, Superman knew he was vulnerable to similar assaults in the future. With the aid of the wizard Shazam, he applied ancient Kryptonian lore to the creation of a new costume, giving him resistance to magic. Attacks by sorcerers and demons now have no effect on the Man of Steel. Concerned that other worlds might once again invade Earth, Batman created an autonomous global security system to monitor any temporal breaches. His system, OMAC, Outer World Monitor and Auto Containment, is designed to detect and trap invaders from alternate universes. OMAC has already discovered a breach in Metropolis. During the World Merge Crisis, a member of the Green Lantern Corps was killed. At the moment of his death, his power ring traveled to Sonya, taking her as its new master. When the worlds were once again separated, the ring stayed with her. Now she has the ultimate weapon, but only one charge. She must use the ring sparingly until she can find a way to replenish its power. Impressed with Captain Marvel's fighting ability, but angered by his defeat at the hero's hands, Shang Tsung sought to create a race of super warriors. They would have Captain Marvel's abilities, but would be a perversion of the hero's image. Through sorcery, he combined blood from a torn piece of Captain Marvel's cape with the flesh of a Tarkatan corpse. Never before had his flesh pits echoed with the roar of such a monstrosity. With an army of super Tarkatans, Shang Tsung will be invincible. Having been infused with the power of magic during her teleportation to the alternate universe, Catwoman found that she could transform at will into a Black Panther. Her increased strength and agility made her a cat that would never again be caged. As a result of Liu Kang's aura attunement, the Flash discovered he had retained a psychic bond with the warrior. The two agreed to warn each other of any cross-universal breaches. It wasn't long until Liu Kang appeared before the Flash, warning him of an impending attack by the sorcerer Quan Chi. With no base of operations after their devastating losses in Outworld, Kitana sought asylum in Earthrealm for her surviving Edenian resistance fighters. 
Raiden granted them Shang Tsung's abandoned island, where they would remain hidden from mortal eyes. Katana and her warriors remade the former site of the Mortal Kombat tournament into a bastion of beauty and light. To honor the god of Edenia, they renamed their new home Argus Island. Badly injured in the melee with the otherworldly invaders, Jax knew he must enhance his cybernetics to save his own life. He underwent massive anatomical restructuring, replacing most of his body with mechanized, fully armored versions. Jax is now more powerful than ever, but at the cost of his humanity. On a distant planet, a huge pyramid unexpectedly rose from beneath the ground. Its origin was unknown, but it seemed to emanate energy similar to what Batman detected from the invading universe. Green Lantern's nemesis, Sinestro, has learned of the pyramid's existence and is eager to acquire whatever secret it might contain. Hal Jordan knows only that its energy is dangerous and that the Green Lantern Corps must stop the Sinestro Corps at any cost. As the world separated, the Joker discovered he had retained his new powers. With them, he soon controlled all of Gotham, proclaiming himself Mayor Joker. Under his rule, the city devolved into chaos. He now holds a tournament in which contestants are forced to fight to the death for his amusement. The winner will face off against the Joker himself. Through intense study, Raiden was able to unlock the secrets of the Rock of Eternity and determine its function. He decided to emulate it and create a Captain Marvel of Earthrealm. Raiden infused Liu Kang with his own power as well as the abilities of his fellow gods Argus, Fujin, and others. In order to transform himself into a being of unstoppable power, Liu Kang need only shout Mortal Kombat. As the interdimensional conflict ended, Raiden returned to Earthrealm, only to discover that exposure to his homeworld sun weakened him greatly. The sorcerer Quan Chi offered Raiden a jade-colored stone that would replenish his power in return for his sworn allegiance. Where Quan Chi acquired this stone is a mystery. Raiden must now decide between servitude to an evil sorcerer or mortality. Using data stolen from the Special Forces, Lex Luthor constructed his own portal and breached the barrier that separated the two universes. There he encountered the sorcerer Quan Chi. Their combined power, intelligence, and near omnipresence will be unstoppable. Both worlds will fall prey to this deadly alliance. In order to regain control of his power, Captain Marvel was guided by the wizard Shazam through a focusing ritual. At its apex, Captain Marvel unexpectedly visited a strange ethereal world, finding himself face to face with godlike beings calling themselves the Elder Gods. Now able to tap into these gods' powers, Captain Marvel has new abilities he is only just beginning to master.
Though the combat rage completely disappeared once Dark Khan was defeated, it drove Kano irreversibly mad. Turning on friend and foe alike, he became an outcast. Kano's appearance changed as well. He has painted his face to further express his seething anger. Alone in the depths of insanity, Kano endlessly repeats, Death to Shang Tsung. Death to Shang Tsung. Death to Shang Tsung. As the worlds returned to normal, the combat rage dissipated in its victims, except the Tarkatans. Through the rage, the savage outworld race has descended to an even greater level of bloodlust. Marking their foreheads with the blood of their enemies, they now storm throughout the realms, dominating all. Returning to Themyscira, Wonder Woman learned that strange relics had been found scattered across the island. A sword, a shield, and a golden amulet, all pulsing with energy. Compelled to equip herself with the items, she was infused with powers beyond those bestowed upon her by the Greek gods. She and her Amazons are now unstoppable as they fight for the preservation of Earth. Deathstroke emerged from the inter-universal conflict both wiser and more cautious. Assassins from another universe would be unwanted competition. To maintain superiority, Deathstroke created a band of powerful assassins outfitted in his image. He now serves as Grand Master of this fearsome Deathstrike clan. Defeated, Shao Kahn was imprisoned in the Phantom Zone, used for holding dangerous Kryptonian villains because of its ability to render them powerless. Possibly due to the magical nature of his strength, however, the Phantom Zone had the opposite effect on Shao Kahn. Instead of neutralizing him, it revitalized the Emperor, allowing him to break free. With him are untold numbers of criminals released from millennia of imprisonment. Grateful, they have sworn allegiance to Shao Kahn and now follow him on his quest to conquer the universes. Imprisoned in the Nether Realm, Darkseid was left vulnerable. Shang Tsung attempted to steal Darkseid's soul, a source of immense power. In the midst of the magical assault, however, Darkseid reversed the soul drain, reducing Shang Tsung to a withered old man. Empowered by Shang Tsung's magic, Darkseid broke free of his bonds. Shang Tsung hastily pledged allegiance to Darkseid in an attempt to spare his own life. <laughs> 